what I want to show you today is how to create this Apple Watch ring. I actually created a component which lets you customize the colors using Color Literal. And as you can see, when I change the colors, it reflects. I can even set the size of my component and it's going to scale properly. And I can even set the progress. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how to do this from scratch. So the first thing is we're going to create a circle. Then this is what happened is a little bit too big. So we're going to create a frame with a width of 100 and a height of 100. Then we can create the stroke. So I'm going to set dot stroke as a modifier and I'm going to select the first option. And for the content shape style, we're just going to set the color itself to blue. And for the stroke style, we're going to press enter parentheses. And here we have a bunch of really interesting options. So we have the line width, which is the width of the line itself. So we're going to set it to 10. And the line cap is kind of like in Sketch where you can make it rounded. So that's really interesting. So I'm going to set it to round for a line join and line cap. And here, I can just delete the rest of the options because we won't need it. Now you can see that we have a full circle that is using the border now. We just need to set so that we can only draw uh, a certain portion of it. So we're going to go to dot trim parentheses and here you can see from and in two values we can set 0 0.3 to 1. And this is kind of confusing because 1 means nothing and 0 0.3 means 0 0.7 so if I was to put one you're gonna see there is nothing so nothing to nothing is nothing uh, but if I was to do 0 0.1 then it's kind of like 90 percent okay so all that's left is to rotate this and to do a symmetry so that we can start from the top right to the full to the other end to do that we're gonna do rotation first and we can do the rotation effect the angle is going to be dot degrees at 90 degrees. So it's doing some rotation. Now we just need to do a symmetry, a 180. And to do a symmetry, we can use the rotation 3D effect. And so that's really interesting because there's no uh, modifier for symmetry. We're going to have to use this one. So angle, parentheses, and we're going to use degree at 180. And you can uh, rotate, in this case, we're going to use the X position to 1, Y to 0, and then Z to 0. So now it's going to do that perfect rotation. So at 90%, this is starting from 0, moving all the way to 90%. If you want to animate this, we're going to have to set a state show. And then we're going to use that state to animate. So we're going to have to set the animation first is out and then we need to set the action and we're going to use a tap gesture which is going to toggle the show value and all that's left now is to set our condition so we're going to do is is it showing for the animation question mark if yes we're going to animate it to 90 percent which is this value 0 0.1 else we're going to set it to one which is nothing but if we have nothing, it's not going to show anything at all. So we can put 0 0.99 so we can see this at the beginning. And so if I play this and I click here, you see this beautiful animation just like the Apple Watch. So that's what I want to show you. Um, sometimes I post videos without sound and that's because I don't have access to good audio or there's a lot of background noises. Um, but I'm trying to find a place. And if you really like this content, please consider supporting uh, my course. You can learn all the basics about Swift UI from scratch and so many more techniques just like this one. Really focus on UI. I'm actually preparing more material for the course, which is what I'm showing you right now. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, please comment and let me know what you want to learn. Uh, thank you so much.